Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 26th of September 1923, German Chancellor Gustav Stresemann ended passive resistance in the Ruhr and resumed the payment of First World War reparations. The 1921 London Schedule of Payments had set out both the reparations amount and the timetable over which Germany is expected to pay for its defeat in the First World War. However, from the very start of the payments, Germany missed some of its targets. Failure to provide the full quota of coal and timber in December 1922 provided the excuse for France and Belgium to occupy the Ruhr region of the country on the 11th of January 1923. Occupation was met with passive resistance and the striking workers were paid with money printed by the government. This contributed to the rampant hyperinflation that had begun to cripple the economy from before the occupation began. Stresemann was aware that the situation was unsustainable and, despite having only been Chancellor for six weeks, called off passive resistance and started to pay reparations again in September. By ending the strikes and restarting reparations payments, Stresemann was able to slow down the economic crisis that was enveloping the country and show that he accepted the international realities of the new era. This marked the start of Germany's international rehabilitation, although within Germany it was met with opposition from both left and right extremists. For that reason, Stresemann asked President Ebert to announce a state of emergency under Article 48 of the Constitution on the same day. Despite the anger from some Germans, Stresemann's actions laid the foundation for the economic recovery that Germany experienced right up until the onset of the devastating Great Depression.